Hi, I'm Ty. I'm Sadie. And I'm Caro, and we are SC Mira for Canadian Beats. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. We are in beautiful downtown Toronto, which happens to be the first stop on a mini tour for you guys. So how does it feel like being in Toronto? Oh, it's great. It's been, uh, it's been really nice so far. Weather's been great. We've been having a fun time. We drove out, and we're ready to do some shows now. Amazing, amazing. And where are we at tonight? Uh, we are at the Baby G on, uh, at Dundas Street West. Mm -hmm. Now, SC Mira are definitely not strangers to Canadian Beats. In 2015, we had uh, an interview with you guys right around the time of the release of your debut album, uh, Waiting Room Baby. Now, fast forward two years later, you are just on the, well, actually not on the heels, you have just released your brand new single, Mexico. So, tell me, what has the reception been for your new single so far? It's been really good so far. We have definitely changed our sound up quite a bit, so we were really excited to finally put this single out, and I think it'll kind of ease people into the new sound, So, and it's a great song for summer. Now, it's off of the upcoming EP, Keep Crawling, and you mentioned it's a new sound for your band. When we talked to you before, you talked about your sound being very dark. Has it changed from that? It's definitely darker. I guess. Yeah. yeah, we've gotten even more into the shadows, <laughs> I would say. Um, there's kind of, uh, it's become a lot more synth driven, um, kind of a, more of a focus on like some heavy bass lines, heavy percussion as well. Um, so that's kind of the way we're shifting. Now, what drove that shift? I would say definitely touring early on drove that shift. Uh, everything that we released on Waiting Room Baby, we wrote and recorded before we ever actually went on tour. So when we hit the road, our stage show definitely started to evolve, and with that, our sound kind of also started to evolve. Now, you know, you, you don't classify yourself into any specific genre, and, you know, you actually have been quoted saying, um, you know, you'll question who they, like, people will question who you are, and we'll try and put the, you into a box that you'll never fit into. Does that mirror your life outside of the band as well? Like, what kind of transpired that? I think probably... Uh, the reason it's hard to kind of put in a box is because we all have such different and diverse influences that we bring in. So I wouldn't say, like, the music that we make is cohesive, uh, but it's, yeah, hard to describe. Now your, your EP is coming out in September, is that correct? Uh, I don't think we have an official date, but it will be coming out in the new year. Okay. And what are you doing between now and then? Well, we're on the tour right now, so we'll be on. We'll be at this for a couple of weeks, and then we're going to be releasing other singles. I think about not bi-weekly, maybe every three weeks, we'll be releasing a new single. So, working on that, and um, and yeah, finally playing the product out for audiences. Now, obviously, you're a fan of the live show. It's a chance to get out and, and connect with your fans. Um, being such a big country, being that you're from Winnipeg, and you know we're in Toronto here, so there there is obviously you know distance as, that hinders the situation. So you probably draw upon social media. So my question for you is, what is your favorite platform collectively that you use to communicate with your fans? Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. We love Instagram. Yeah. All about the yep. stories, about the, story. boomerang. the boomerangs, the for boomerangs, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's where it's at. <laughs> will you be doing any Instagramming tonight? We will. Probably. We're always Instagramming. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done. Perhaps at some point you should do a takeover of Canadian Beats Instagram. Ooh, that would be fun. That. Yeah, be that would be really fun. <laughs> Now, is that a collective, I mean, obviously, the three of you have said yes, Instagram, but is that a, you know, is Instagram the, the preferred platform for the entire band, or is there someone that goes out on a limb and does Facebook or Snapchat? Well, I mean, for, for our band stuff, definitely, I would say Instagram is the go-to for whenever we're doing stuff that's related to us, personally-wise, I don't. <laughs> everyone's pretty everyone does we're it. very visual I think as a band too yeah. so we like putting uh, stuff out and we're also focusing a lot on the visuals for the EP that's coming out we have a local artist Matea Radig doing um, some really beautiful illustrations for each song um, and yeah having uh, such a visual platform like Instagram is really helpful for putting that out there it's just another layer to the music I think absolutely and your music definitely caters to um, you know the generation that would be using Instagram so it's it's kind of a you know a match made in heaven in that regard um, I read somewhere that often your shows can become very emotional for the crowd 
Um, <laughs> um, I, I can't even remember where I touched upon that in, in my research. I came across, um, you know, fans talking about an experience where, where you know, they were absolutely. Um, I guess it was an unexpected experience for them. What you're talking about? Uh, th I think that was with regards to a show that we played in Tokyo um, a year, about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm, yeah. We played in Tokyo, and just the reception that we got there from the from the people that came out to see us was, oh, it was phenomenal. Um, they were super nice. They were really engaged. Wanted to talk to us. Wanted to wanted to know, you know, like what we were doing, what our music was, how we did it, you know, and they uh, they were just very appreciative. Well, your music definitely has an international appeal to it, definitely. So I can see it going over very well, or well over there. Awesome. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do in the summer? Stay inside. Ooh, I, it's funny because... Stay outside. Yeah, it's like, we're from, we're from uh, Winnipeg, so in the winter we stay inside and write music. But honestly, in the summer, I personally also stay inside and write music. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not you a beach sit person. Closer to the window when it's nice out. You're just closer to the window. Yeah, sit, open, the, uh, crack the window. <laughs> I think I sit on the deck and write in the summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are the bugs out there? Um, actually, this this year pretty good. Yeah. Really? A record Nothing. low for mosquitoes record low. this year. Amazing, because yeah. here in Ontario, and I mean, I don't know if it's maybe where I live, people have been literally crying over the mosquitoes. They've just been where? bad. Well, <laughs> about yeah. two hours north of here in cottage country, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> that would explain it. Can you uh, solve a mystery for us? Who is Burgundy Bill? Oh, Burgundy Bill is the sixth member of the band. It's our, yeah. it's our tour van. It's, it's our tour van. Beautiful yep. ba van with uh, sh like shag carpet, shag like pink carpet, carpet, pink carpet, pink curtains. Pink, pink drapes, yeah. Yeah, he's got a little cooler. He's great. Yeah, cooler and swiveling floor. chairs, yeah. Yep. Has he been with you for the entire journey? Not the entire journey. We just bought him but a two years couple ago. years ago. Oh, yeah. This is his second tour. Second yeah. Tour we, full like, tour. Second we full. We dusted him off for this tour. <laughs> <laughs> Took a vacuum to him. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, must have item to have on the road that's not gear related. What would you put in your bag? Water bottle. A choker or a harness. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know what? That's that sounds about right. A choker, at least five bralettes. You could bring an eyeliner and I could bring a harness and then we could just survive. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Amazing, amazing. Now, what are the best three words to describe SC Mira? Dark. Ooh. Ooh, I like ooh. <laughs> that was, that, dark oh, that ooh. wasn't a word. <laughs> dark, emotional, and dramatic, I would say. Yeah, good. I'd go with yeah. those. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see that on the stage tonight. That's going to be amazing. So thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, it's been wonderful, and I wish you nothing but the best on your mini tour across the country. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Nicole Wolf from Canadian Beats, and we'll catch you next time.